Assalamu alaikum students welcome to civil engineering trainer my name is Tasveer today we are starting in the lecture of Autodesk Civil 3D so in this lecture we will discuss draw road offset in widening curves so in this lecture the topic subtopic will be draw road offset from alignment and draw widening curves from alignment so first of all we need to know about what is offset and what is and what is the widening curves so you can also see one picture here see this is the last time we discussed about the center line now we can also see the side line of center line this is called offset this is basically a normal width of any roads where traffic flow so this is basically called offset widening line you can also see here one another example this is the last time we create this is a white line this is basically is called offset and here you can also see here this portion basically is called widening curves now normal because this width normal is maybe 10 meter and when this width increase here this may be 12 meter so 2 meter basically is called width or widening curve of any portion because widening curve provided in a wide in a curve area so here there are two type of formula form is manually if you want to calculate manually you can also see this one and uh, we also have another formula which is given by ashto in civil 3d ashto basically is one road designing department which is uh, situated in america so if you want to learn about ashto you can also search on google so a little bit i just give example so inshallah in this lecture series we discuss both method one method is uh, manually how can we put and one method is ashto formula i hope this lecture will be very helpful for you so if you are new so please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more latest updates so let's start so you can see our computer screen so now i want to also discuss a little bit more about offset with the help of one practical drawing okay you can see here one drawing this is the typical section of road this is red line is called center line you can see a center line okay so if you see this portion 7.45 this is the width of our road pavement okay this is basically asphalted area asphalt area this also asphalt area you can see here 3.65 this is basically called its uh, offset and this you can also 3.8 3. Point, basically th this is also called 3.65 3.65 is the standard size of any offset okay standard size you can see here this is travel lane this is buffer and this is parallel parking so for that he just make two lines one for traveling and one for parking you can see here this side also so basically this portion this is called offset 3.65 is the standard size of road sometime you can also see a 3.5 some places 2.5 this depends on the type of road if your road is some specific some special road highway road like that then there will be apply 3.65 if you have some country road like normal there may be di dif a difference between uh, its offset okay so you can also see here uh, this is this portion is called pavement okay here the asphalt and this side you can also see here this sidewalk this other portion we need to discuss this portion and you can also see here there is another road of collector okay so you can see here offset this is center line and you can see this portion is called median 4.6 mean 3 2.3 this side and 2.3 this side this portion is called median and from here to here you can also see a pavement area 8.45 here two offset 3.65 plus 3.65 plus 1 meter you can see here and this portion you can also see this one is for going this far coming okay so you can also see here some other details this is the typical section all type of detail is mentioned here lane 1 and lane 2 okay so this is the standard size of 3.65 3.65 so i also want to mention another thing you can also see here the width and the width of our offset 3.6 3.6 3.6 and you can also see this one this is double road 13.6 if you divide this one then same standard size plus plus then after that 2.5 for emergency parking okay so this is the basic knowledge about uh, offset you must do now before starting this lecture 
and now we'll discuss about uh, the importance of uh, widening curves in road okay you can see this drawing there is some big lorry okay so there is number road is 3.65 when this lorry came here and you can see the width of our road 6 meter okay this side is 5.5 meter 6 meter means when truck comes from here to here then because of its vehicle its wheels turn and the width if you see from the top view is increased so for that they make widening here so for that our lorry or truck can be easily turned from this portion when we give some extra widening so that it, it take easily turn okay you can see this portion also and same method will be apply in junction area like intersection area you can see here normal road width and this portion width 9.7 to 9.7 you can see this portion so the main purpose of this is to give you basic detail about normal offset and some specific widening curves okay now you can see our drawing there is also some detail about offset and widenings so see this one this portion is called normal offset in this portion widening portion so some a little bit detail we must need about uh, general knowledge like that see this one this normal width and this is widening portion so from here to here this gradually increasing length this is called transition length okay transition length mean normal width to outside width this portion is called transition width and this widening openly widening is called region length okay you can see region on both sides this one this one and you can also see this one this red portion is called region length and this portion is called transition length okay so i hope the basic concept about widening curves and offset will be clear so now we'll properly start one town offset and alignment so you can see this is the alignment we last time created in last lecture so now we properly start this one so first of all we make its offset okay so first of all we click here then you can see here one option offset alignment okay so just click here you can see create offset alignment first of all you see roads then uh, offset name okay from start to end if you want to start from specific station you can also mention here okay so we start from zero to end okay number of offset on left side and number of offset on right side one by one 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 so if you want to make two two you can also start here so first of all you want to just for practice 3.65 so this is the general width standard width 3.65 okay so next general offset okay normally there will be no any type of alignment like offset okay there will be no any type of label will, will be in offset okay normally center line must need label but offset no need any label because you can see here i just select from here proposed and there must be label but when we select offset there will be no any type of label okay so you can see number of offset and after 3.6 by 3.6 the width of offset so just okay so you can see here our offset is ready for this road only for this road we also make offset for this road for that click here now this is the first method if you select here this is the first method now i want to tell you second method so you just click here and go alignment okay we can see here second last okay create offset alignment and here widening first of all you need to know about offset create offset alignment just select alignment so you can see same method same tool open then uh, now we'll select some other one this is road number 22 this is road number 21 this is road number 22 so here we change its width like 3.65 multiplied by 2 7.30 okay and 7.30 okay and uh, here widening okay offset same method okay so you can see here this is normal width we don't increase any type of widening here i just want to make here offset okay simple so same method you can also apply here but now i want to make also widening curves 
this is original and professional method i now i am telling to you create offset alignment okay same method go on alignment offset okay so you can see here this is 7.30 okay 7.30 so you can also see this portion widening criteria okay select here so first of all add widening around curve okay i select here so there is two method one is manually method if you use formula and after that how much widening will come like 1.2 any type of so you just keep here widening okay so first of all if you use this formula which i already mentioned to you so suppose we calculate widening from here like 3.5 okay we calculate increase in width 3.65 okay in transition width we select here 30 okay this is formula method you calculate formula in any type of widening okay you select here okay after that add widening around okay you can see here inside only we select here both side normally because sometimes we need both side okay after that select here everything is okay okay we just say okay so you can see here you can check here this is transition portion and this is the widening portion how much widening so i just give offset from here to here so you can easily check how much widening this formula give us we can see this one this is the normal width okay from here to here this is the normal width width of roads okay and this portion is called widening area see this one 3.65 because we select 3.65 in our formula okay this is the normal manually formula okay you can also check this side this is also same formula you can see this one this is same formula if you use this method so maybe there will be 20 30 50 type of curve so automatically you just calculate one automatic all type of curve will be calculated in this method okay so now i want to tell you second method of ashto because this is the best method in ashto calculate the formula how much width you must need here because sometimes maybe during calculation maybe some mistake but r2 is the best method because this is the specific uh, department that make this type of formulas so for that you we just uh, alignment and offset again create offset alignment we can see here click again now 7.30 okay this is the normal offset okay now we'll go here widening criteria see this one we don't use now this formula we use h2 formula so for that specify widening through design standard okay we just select here so you can see here select a criteria file we click here so you can see this one this is the basically h2 specific design formula so for that we select here 2011 okay if you are using old version like uh, 2014 13 so maybe there will be three method like 2004 roadway and this one so if you you are using uh, 2016 or update version so maybe this also will become here so here we will use this one autodesk 730 metric road design standard okay 2011 okay open so you can see here Widening method as to standard formula. This is the best method for that. We also select here both sides. If you want to make one side, so you can also select here. So we need both sides, okay? As to metric, okay? After that, we don't need any type of widening here because when we select this one, this automatically up, okay? So you can see this one, okay? we just click on ok so you can see here our formula is just ready and this is the real method to calculate so see this one we don't increase extra widening we only select that portion that widening which is required for any car or any lorries ok so you can see here 
sometimes when we calculate and add this may be increase some extra portion but here you don't use this one see this one 3.7.30 and if you check from here you can see 8.80 it's mean 1.5 meter one side 1.5 meter one side he just create like that because this is depend on your widening curve and the radius of curve if your radius will be less degrees then widening will be increased okay because this portion is already wide so for that he just increase widening that is required so you can see here this portion so now i also want to make this portion and uh, you can see here now i set widening here like offset for that alignment and uh, create offset alignment set here select a criteria file okay no problem this one okay so because this is normal there is no type of widening will be increased because this is straight road okay so 7.30 we select here 5 meter and 5 meter this is normal road and uh, widening there is no need type of widening so for that okay you can see this one this is straight okay now we select this portion so for that alignment and create offset alignment select this one select a criteria file okay after that we select this portion this one 2011 method okay so we select the width of this portion 5 okay but we also need to go this portion you can see here Active standard formula okay okay we just click on okay so you can see here there will be widening increase okay see this one if you check this portion you will see here from here to here 5 meter and uh, if you check this portion from here to here 6.8 mean 1.8 increase this side you can see this is small area and 1.8 and this is big area and here 1.5 so see the difference if you have big curve or big radius then widening will be less because there is already much uh, curves and there is no need any this is normal road so this is very sharp area so for that he increase its widening a little bit more for that he increase 1.8 this side 1.8 this side so you can see we calculate this area this also automatic calculated so you can see this one we also make widening this side for that alignment and create offset alignment okay select this line select a criteria file okay yes open now if you want to make same we select here 3.67 because this is normal road small road 3.65 okay okay so here you can also see he also increase widening this portion see this one he make widening this side so you can see also you can also add it from here after uh, this one see this is normal road 3.65 and you can also see this area increase widening in this side view also 5.7 3.65 5 5.7 like uh, 1.10 meter okay 1.10 meter increase so you can see the method how can we calculate widening with the help of standard formula and with the help of manually formula so i hope you enjoyed this lecture series if you have any questions so please comment in the comments box inshallah i try my best to give you some suitable answer thanks for watching see you next video allah peace